maybe after we take care of the missions on this planet, might be good to head back to an industrial zone, see if we can pick up maybe some, um, and we can pick up some decent, decent mags, maybe some more equipment, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll look into it, for sure. Uh, but again, doesn't look like much has changed here on the black market. Uh, nothing has changed here on the mech market either. Maybe it's worth buying this. Because I don't, I don't want to give the good dervish to the AI, because the AI is dumb. However, maybe it's worth buying another dervish and kitting it out with some lower tier equipment and letting the computer run with that. But that's 6.6 .6 million. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't think that's worth it. I'd rather just rebuild one. Uh, let's see. Kill three urban mechs. Yeah, I mean, based on how we've been doing so far, I think that's definitely a possibility. I and mean, we probably killed a half a dozen urban mechs in the last couple of missions alone. Uh, and I don't think... Yeah, we're not going to be able to hire anybody because we're not, uh, we're, we're in a conflict zone. But we got two garrison duties and a battlefield. If I remember, battlefield is the one where we get more money for, uh, extra kills. So, let's do it. Uh, do we want to bring... Do we want to bring a Centurion, or do we want to bring something else? Tell you what. I tell you what. Let's say... Because we've got two Centurions. Maybe what we do instead is... Let's put in a fire engine. Let's put in the 4P. We'll see how our man's does. He's got an 8 in energy weapons, and obviously the 4P is all energy all day, so it seems like a good fit. Yeah, Grundler, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I was saying. I, I think uh, after we finish up this planet, I think we'll head to uh, an industrial hub and see if we can get some bigger mechs, some badder mechs. We've been, uh, we've been grinding away in the medium weight class for a little while now. But since we have three missions on this planet, it seems like a waste we to not do what we can. A big pair day. If we can maintain this position beyond what our contract stipulates, Commander. That said, Farhad will Our... never shut up about it if your mix return to the hangar looking like Swiss cheese. Good luck. Rihanna, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but our mechs come back to the hangar looking like Swiss cheese after every mission. Oh no, these guys again? I mean, speaking of predictable... Additional forces are being deployed near you. New target. Fire on target. They brought a rifleman this time. Target neck eliminated. Oh no! Who could have possibly guessed? Why are you so surprised? You are currently 0 for 3, my dude. Why are you acting surprised that you lost? Oh no. Okay, I thought we were gonna take some damage on that one. Enemy movement is projected to hit your location at any moment. Time Good. To earn our pay. I mean, I always earn my pay, except when I don't. I saw you. I saw you, you little donkey. There you are. Chad, I have a confession. 
I feel like I've been playing too much, uh... I've been playing too much Helldivers recently. Because I keep hitting shift to sprint. I keep trying to sprint everywhere because I've been playing too much Helldivers. Which, by the way, if you guys would like me to play some Helldivers on stream, I am not averse to the idea. But since we already have, you know, a whole Mech Warrior thing going on, I figured we would continue that. Oh, you get out of the way. Get out of the way. What are you gonna do with no legs? Hi, there were some vehicles over here. That was a pretty hefty tank. What are we at? A partisan. Another one. I- I do not like partisans. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. More hostiles inbound. Uh, track tension, hell divers, definitely had some- some hiccups at the beginning with the servers and some performance issues. It has been vastly improved in the last couple of weeks, though. Um, I, I mean, there have been some gaming sessions where I played for three or four hours and didn't have any crashes or any hiccups or anything like that, so, uh, it, it has been a marked improvement over the early performance of the game. Gonna regret that. Why are you trying to fist fight a heavy mech? That was never gonna end well for you, my friend. Oh, you check hole. I swear, it's like these guys are like, oh, you're trying to take a shot? Let me just go ahead and stand right in front of you. Uh, track tension, I think that had a little bit to do with it, but at the same time, I, I think it was just, you know, uh, a game in 2024 releasing is basically guaranteed to not be fully functional, just because that's the world we live in now. It's the release it broken, let the players be the beta testers, and then fix it after. Uh, that makes a junk pile now. now what happened to- I was about to say, I, I know there was a mech behind us. I'm not surprised that you guys did not take it out. You... There we go. Now you're having a bad time. Let's go get that gem. Uh, to be fair, Stapler, it... Helldivers is only 40 bucks, so... I mean, it's 40 bucks, it's a great time, I, I mean, I'm not okay with every game releasing half broken, but it is a thing that I have come to expect. It's not okay, I don't support it, and that's the reason I didn't buy the game at launch. I, you know, it was, I didn't buy the game until last week, 
because I wanted to wait until it worked and it was functional and they got the server situation sorted out so that you didn't have queues and all this other stuff. So, you know, once once I actually got the game into a state where I felt like it was worth the money, I absolutely went ahead and bought it. Yeah, well, uh, that's that's the problem, is we now live in a world where game companies expect praise when they release a game that functions, and it's like, no, that's... That's like, y you met the minimum requirement. It's, uh, it's very similar to, like, if you've ever worked at a company, like a shitty company that makes you work 10 or 12 hour shifts all the time, and then, you know, suddenly one day they let you go home after an eight hour shift and everybody's like, oh man, we get to leave early. And it's like, no, you're, you're leaving on time. You're not leaving early. It's just that the company has been running you raw for so long that you forget what normal feels like. And uh, it's, it's very, very similar in the sense that like, we have been getting screwed by game companies for so long that when we get a functional product on day one, it's like, oh man, this is a great game. Not because it's good, but because it works. Oh, yeah, that, that should not be the high bar. But again, I've, I've gone on many a rant about the games industry in its current state, so... Come on, boys! Put some fire on this thing! Alright, now let's see how quickly they're actually gonna throw more reinforcements, because we can make a lot of extra money on these missions if we stick it out. The only problem is it can sometimes take a while for them to actually show up. So I'm gonna start heading back towards the dropship. I mean, this open field is a, a pretty decent place for us to engage. Sadly, the 4P is in pretty bad shape right now. Uh, what is the button? Is it, I don't... I... There's a button. No. Now, what's the button? What's the button, chat, to inspect? I don't remember how to do it on an ally. I know there's a button. Q, that's what it is. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. I didn't realize that the Hunchback had lost all of its weapon systems. We're gonna get out of here. If that's the case, I'm not going to put that man through any more than what he's already been through. Contact. Yeah. I mean, Grendler, you're not wrong, but the, the games industry has been trying to tell us for 20 years uh, that, you know, oh, you don't, you don't want single player games anymore. You don't want RTS games anymore. You don't want survival horror games anymore. Like, no, we want those things. And when those things come out, everybody buys the shit out of them if they're good. But, uh... It, it's... that That's the thing, is... They're always going to try to tell you what you want because there are a not insignificant number of people that will believe it. Um, let's see. Is it worth it? I mean... Technically... Technically, we could grab both of these and another salvage pick and make more money off the sale. Because I'm just going to sell these mechs anyway. Living the dream. I have no idea what that achievement is, but we unlocked it. All right, everybody else did pretty well on that one. Uh, sadly, the 4P got... got rocked. Can we? Yeah, I was gonna say, we, we should be able to repair the whole thing. Uh, and we will sell the Jav, as you do. Sell the Jenner, as you do. 
and the 4J is put back together finally. So let's see, we're dealing with, oh, this is an LRM boat. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Do we have, I mean, we don't have much in the way of improvement. I think we're, I, I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I mean, well, I, you're, you're, you must have missed some of the earlier streams. I do currently have, uh, this fire starter, which we turned into a small laser boat, but initially I was running all flamers on this thing and we were just torching everything. Swap out these for SRMs. I mean, the reason that I kind of want to leave it the way that it is, is because 20 LRMs is actually not bad and we don't have a long range missile boat. Like, I don't mind being the brawler that gets in close. Um, and the computer is obviously very dumb. So it might be better to keep them at a long range. But then again, because the computer is dumb, it doesn't really know what to do when the enemy gets in close. So maybe, maybe SRMs is the play. Let's see. If I go with... Beth. And we'll swap out the ammo. That actually gives us more tonnage to play with. So we could max out the armor. Uh... Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Can we potentially... Oh, yeah. Give them the knuckles. Give them the knuckles. So we can put the melee on. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? I mean, what, what else can we put in this thing, is the question. And Mate rolling into the chat on a Saturday. Mate, glad to see you. Glad you could join us. Hopefully your Saturday is going well. I know, uh, I know the schedule doesn't always allow you to make it to the stream, so we're always glad when you can stop by. Ah, uh, you're not wrong, Blandaid. You're not wrong. Remember, chat, that ammo goes in the feet. That's where it belongs. And actually, I'll put some heat sinks in the torso. Just so that uh, if the side torso does get blown up, it doesn't take all the heat sinking with it. But yeah, again, I don't, like, what do we do with the extra tonnage here? Because I don't... More ammo? But we don't really need more ammo. Um... Uh, we could do the short burst lasers. Those have actually been pretty good to us. But that's not going to increase the weight. Um, more heat sinks? Question mark? I mean, we're close on that. We're, we're 0 0.07 tons shy, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, maybe replace, yeah, we could do that. We could replace a small laser with a medium. Uh, yeah. This, oh no, it's a small energy slot, so we cannot do that. What do we have? We've got a small... Uh, maybe a small short burst? Small pulse is tempting, but again... Well, it's in the head. 
it might not it, it might not be the worst thing in the world. Like if we lose the head, we're gonna have bigger problems than losing the uh, the small pulse laser. Um, we need to reduce just a little bit of weight, so... What am I doing? What am I doing? Need to remove some armor from the legs. Close. Close. There we go. Alright. Let's do it. We'll see if it's any good. We will see if it's any good. It may not be. But it's all about experimentation. Uh, next up is garrison duty. Ah, uh, let's see. If we go full salvage shares S27... Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Uh, we will ditch the fire engine. And stick in the other... Where is it? There we go. The 4J. And then we'll have to wait it out. 78 days. Oh, also, we, we, gotta, we gotta do something about that pain job. That pain job is unacceptable. Ah, uh, you. Unacceptable. Much better. Much, much better. Listen, Stapler. We're, we're removing the armor to increase maneuverability. It's, uh... It's high speed, low drag. That's what it is. That's that. That's the explanation that I'm going with. All right. The Turkish Union has reached out to us for help to save their complex from incoming hostiles. Local security personnel will assist us as much as possible, but don't expect too much out of them. They're still civilians, after all. I don't expect much out of the AI in any situation, Rihanna, but thank you. Oh no, look at this unfortunate VTOL pilot on our side. He's, he's running out there to die. Why? Out, out, out. I see you. Go get him. Go get him. Yep. He got shut down. I swear. Z-Tools only exist in this game to die. They're, they... I don't really ever see them accomplishing anything. Other than being really irritating. I mean, Snoop Prog, that's where I get it from, but it's not... Strictly a red alert thing. Additional contacts just across the perimeter, Commander. Expect company soon. New target, spider. Well, we do need some spiders. Oh, look at that. They're nice enough to give us two spiders. There we go. There we go. There we go. That takes care of the VTOLs. Now we just wait for the spiders to get up here and uh, deal with that. The thing that tripped the perimeter alarm was enemies. That's actually not that hard to figure out.
Uh oh. Are you really? You're going toe to toe, huh? All right. I applaud your bravery. Bravo. Go get them, boys. Go get them. Oh, they are. They are coming out in force. Oh, yeah. I made the mistake of holding still. Guys, it's a flea. It shouldn't be that hard. Guys, come on. I, I mean, it shouldn't, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Go take care of that, please. I would see. There we go. I, I refuse to believe that it was so difficult for them to take out a single flea. Uh, we got a Vindicator, a Panther, and another Vindicator. Alright. Yeah, go for it, dude. So you guys go take care of the Panther. Or I guess I'll help you take care of the Panther. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. Man, I, I have got to figure out how to lead with these PVCs. Well, that's not good. Heat management, what even is it, chat? Did you... You brought a commando? Alright. Good on you, I guess. Although, I guess if you were going to be a runner, then a commando would probably be a good choice. Correct, Dutch Irishman. I have never heard of heat management. I was not even aware it was a thing until I heard that combination of words just now. Nah, I don't, I don't necessarily use the override. Like, I know it's there, but, like... The shutdown to me is a punishment, and I use it to teach myself to do a better job. And triple ah gaming, roll into the chat on a Saturday. So for Commodore, as well, heat management is always using override. Yeah, but uh, welcome you guys to the stream on a Saturday. Glad to have you. He caught us in between missions. I apologize as well. I don't, uh, I don't interact with chat as much in this game as I normally do because I kind of have to, I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. So, but yeah, welcome to the stream on a Saturday. Hopefully, you guys are having an outstanding weekend so far. I know it's only just now getting started. Uh, so yeah, I, again, hopefully you guys are enjoying your time. Hopefully, you don't have to work. I know a few of you do, but for those of you that don't, hopefully you're having a good one so far.
sorry, Jaeger. Well, I'm sorry to hear you having internet troubles. Um, hopefully you can get that sorted out. I don't know if it's a local thing or a Twitch thing, but either way, uh, feel free to check out the VOD after the stream. That'll be another way to keep caught up, or you can always check it out on the YouTubes. Again, there's a little bit of a schedule delay, but uh, these, these streams will end up there eventually. Uh, as always, it's good to have you. Glad you could join us, even if you're having an issue. And I wish you the best with the internet and uh, a good weekend as well. Uh, track tension almost. I think we got one more mission and then we'll head off to uh, a factory or a, a manufacturing world. Uh, you know, we need the spiders, but we've only got one spider, sadly. Uh, let's see. We'll take... Yeah, sure. I mean, there's, there's, there's not really any decent loot here but we'll take it we will take it um yeah so we got one out of two spider max i was hoping we could get both of those spiders but them's the breaks them's the breaks uh we'll sell the panther Hang on to the spider, because again, we do have that uh, cantina mission for it. I don't know. I don't know. Do we even need the fire starters anymore? Like, I feel like we've basically graduated from light max at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and store them. All right. So we got one more garrison contract. Iron oxide is a biome. I mean, rust. And we might run out, run against Brian's Legion again. Again, the, the amount of mechs that they seem to be able to field against us is in interesting. Heavy weather warning is I mean, I've said this before. For me, I don't really care who we're fighting for as long as, as long as their money still spends. That's the mercenary life. Let's make it hot, Chad. Let's make it hot. As a mercenary, you can't be too attached to ideology. The only ideology you follow is money. Where's the money, how much is it, and who's paying the most? Those are the only things you gotta worry about. The workers in the settlement have asked for our protection. Let's get there and support the remaining units. Looks like a lot of open ground here. Which could be a good thing, or could be a bad thing. The last mission, I think we we were advantaged by having an elevated position. Listen, I'm pretty sure that that accent is racist. Okay, so we got a J. Edgar and a J. Edgar. Alright. And, oh, we got a bunch of VTOLs rolling in. Hey, guess what? Okay, let's get turned around. And uh, we'll we'll have to spank these boys again. A griffin! Alright. Go get them, boys. Go get them.
Is this the same griffin that we bodied earlier? Did you send the same guy back? Did he not learn his lesson the first time around? Oh, you jackhole! Yep, I did this to me. I did this to me. Oh yeah, it's it's another rifleman. I feel like they rebuilt these mechs and they're now sending them um, sending them at us again. I guess we'll have to get in close. Riflemen don't like close contact. Burn, baby, burn. Oh no, you, you shut yourself down. That's unfortunate. You lost again. You, you forgot the again part. Uh, let's see, Jenner and Javelin. You guys should be able to handle that. Right? Question mark? This location wasn't built to withstand military grade weapon fire. We need to pull them away from the buildings. Are you are you really stepping on me right now? How did you think that was gonna go? Oh, that's LRMs. Target scope is lighting up with more targets converging on your position, Commander. Stay frosty. Go get them, boys. Go get them. We're only about halfway there. Whoa. Pigeon on a chair. Ow. Blue on blue, you donkey. What do we get? What's kind of, oh, a locust. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Come on, hit him again. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Sorry, I can resist. It's literally punching down. Enemy mech eliminated. All right, there we go. And then we got uh, some more VTOLs over on the far side. I'll let you guys stay where you're at. And you're not wrong, I, I mean... The, these Brian's Legion guys, I'm just like, guys, the, the whole, the description that the bounty hunter gave us about them not really learning from their mistakes, I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm right there with you. Good lord. That's a pretty tanky boy. I am actually surprised at how tanky that Igor was. And we get... Oh, a char... Oh, two chargers! Wow! Two chargers, Jen! They're, they're bringing out the heavy guns this time. Well, the heavy mechs. Anyway, I don't know about the heavy guns, but... I'm just, I'm going to keep backing away. Try and do as much damage as I can. Yeah, that, that was probably not smart. Tango 
Eat critical. As long as I don't let him get close. There we go. There we go. Hopefully we get the salvage on that one. I will absolutely wreck Rocket Charger. You better believe. I will step into the squared circle. Man, again, I gotta learn how to lead these targets. He has no arms. Come on, just leg him, guys. There you go, you got the idea. And he's- oh, he- he- oh, he fell funny. And we got Shadowhawk, Jav, and what else? There should be three targets left. I only see two. At the, yeah, that's a thing that's gonna happen. Ah, there we go. Oh, a Centurion. Okay, you guys go get that then. Ooh, that, yep. Go get the Centurion, guys. Would you stop it? I mean, maybe don't walk through. Maybe don't walk through the base you're supposed to be protecting. Alright, what do we get? Guys, I told- I told you to take out the frickin' Shadowhawk. Oh no, I didn't. I told you to take out the Centurion. My bad! My bad! Yes, please continue to show me your rear armor. Alright, there we go. That's 19 of 19. And we managed to keep the base destruction to... Uh... A minimum? Question mark? I mean, 40% is a minimum, right? Uh, track tension. I mean, if you need a bathroom break, that's fine. I, I still got about an hour before, before my regularly scheduled break. But you are free to take a break as well. Oh, mama, look at that. Well, sadly, even with max salvage, we don't have enough to take one of the chargers. That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping we could get one, but it was not in the cards. Uh, so again, I guess we take the javelin and fill out the rest with just miscellaneous equipment. That's very disappointing. I, I was hoping, I was hoping we'd get a charger on this one. I also wasn't expecting it to be, you know, roughly 30 salvage shares. Disappointing. Disappointing.
Yeah, see, you, you got the idea, I'd say. As long as the building is still standing, then we're good. We're good. There's enough to rebuild. That's what matters. All right. Uh, we're going to sell the jab, as you do. And the spider we're hanging on to because, well, you know, we can put that in cold storage. Because we're gonna sit, we're gonna turn it in for a cantina mission eventually. Uh, also, I think we're at the point where we can start selling some of these other mechs. I was kind of, you know, taking this gotta catch them all approach, but there's not really much of a point to it. All right, to the star map, we need to head to an industrial zone. And there's a decent industrial zone up here. So you got a hero mech on the market? Sure, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Hopefully it's a good one. We already bought the, the Irby, so that one's off the table. We might get lucky, Chet. We might get lucky. Rare hero trebuchet. I don't think that counts as lucky. Um, it has a beagle. It has an AMS. And it's only 12 million. It's a brawler trip. My only concern is that it may not have the armor to be a brawler, but look at that. It's 105 kph. Oh. Oh, Chet. I mean, we have to buy it, don't we? What else we got? We got a trib here that's actually in decent shape, like a regular trib. We got a hunchback that, again, is in decent shape. Hunchback supremacy. Hunchback supremacy, chat. And it is Saint 4G himself. Which is difficult to argue with. And at 3 million, that's actually pretty decent. Especially for, I mean, again, it just has some armor damage. I say we buy it. Because again, we gotta, we gotta build up our stable here. Uh, so this 4G just needs some repairs. We'll go ahead and do that. Might as well paint it as well. As you do. Actually, we got this blood pact. Oh, right, yeah. The, the goofy Tron paint job. I forgot about that. Okay. I think we're in good shape here. Uh-oh. And Mate, I see you. Hydration incoming. And, uh, oh no. Oh no. I believe I'm gonna try this again. Caligatch? Is it Caligatch? I don't remember. I know you told me how to pronounce your name and I completely forgot. I apologize. But welcome to the stream on a Saturday. Good to see you. Glad you could join us for another stream. Hey, there we go. I got it. I got it. Even a broke clock is right twice a day. Every once in a while I get it right on accident. And we get a Kai Hua. First time chatter says, Hey, hey, found you on my recommended on YouTube while I was watching Deep Rock Galactic Survivors. Binging the BTA series at the moment on episode 26. Saw you were online and wanted to say hi. Well, Kai Hua, glad to have you. Glad you could join us. And I'm glad that you're enjoying the BTA series. It is 
Uh, that particular series is complete, and I do hope you will enjoy it. Uh, we had a lot of fun with it. That that entire campaign took uh, about four months for us to get through. Uh, so we spent quite a bit of time playing it. Uh, and, and I, of course, I do enjoy Battletech. So glad you're enjoying it. Glad you found the, the content enjoyable. And hopefully you will enjoy us playing some MechWarrior 5 as well. Again, this is a vanilla playthrough. Um, no mods or anything like that. This is this is my first playthrough of the game. So I'm just trying to familiarize myself with the with some of the systems and stuff like that. Um, but eventually I do intend to get into like the modding rabbit hole and and see what all we can do because it's it's a pretty deep rabbit hole. But we're not quite there yet. The Battletech brain rot has taken hold. I read that at the moment as advanced tactical missions or advanced tactical missiles. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you know, you know. Um, let's see. Oh, right. We need to go back to the star map. Uh, well, wait. Do we have a mech market here? Or I'm sorry, the equipment market. Let's see what we got. Anything? Oh, assault knuckles. Assault knuckles. Arena Fists, uh, nothing else standing out to me here. But they did say there were pilots for hire, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to hire us a couple more pilots. Let's see. Who do we got here? Uh, this guy's not bad. Decent energy. He's got good defense, decent evasion. Or overheat, I'm sorry. I mean, this guy. Captain Villalobos. Alright, hear me out, chat. Hear me out. We just got this hero trip. And it's fast with missiles. This guy's primary skills are missiles and evasion. Oh, for sure, Kaiwa. Uh, again, ne never, and and if you've missed that part of the streams or if you're new to the community, uh, you know, I appreciate everybody's time if you choose to spend it here. So, you know, even if you just lurk, even if you only show up for a few minutes, it's all good. I appreciate your time all the same. Thank you for spending it with us. And uh, again, if you don't want to join us live, you can always catch the, the, uh, the VODs over on, uh, on the YouTubes. Uh, we do. We have a fan discord, as a matter of fact. It is not official, but you are free to join. Uh, it's actually managed by a few members of the community, but it's the home away from home for the cult of bad tactical decisions. And uh, they do they do post stream updates there as well, so you'll know when I'm going live. I do try to give folks at least a day uh, advance warning, but typically, uh, with my schedule and what's, you know, the stuff that's been going on with me, uh, I usually only stream on Saturdays right now, and I try to start at or around 2 p.m. Central Time. Um, I do occasionally do other streams when I have the time, but, uh, the Saturday stream is the regular stream. So if you want to catch us live, that's the best time to do it. And of course, I guess now would be a good time for this as well. Uh, if you want to follow me on the Twitter machine, of course, you already know where the YouTube's in. Ah, uh, but let's see. Let's see. I kind of feel like this guy would be a good pick. But then again... Then again, Captain Canales. With 10 shielding? Like, he has low evasion, but he has good shielding. He might be a good hunchback pilot. Ready I'm gonna hire this guy. There, Commander. It's an honor to join your company. Also, I like his accent. Because I like accents like that. I like, I like it. I like it. Gets me feeling a certain type of way. Alright, star map. What do we got? Uh, we had... Rare weapon on the market? Let's do it. Let's head over there and check it out. I like rare weapons.
Oh, we got multiple rare weapons. So we get a large pulse laser. Yes, I do believe I will. And I saw they had a narc as well. So how does the narc actually work in this game? So it's a launcher. Improves missile locks and accuracy. Okay, I don't know that I would ever use that, to be honest. Because the narc is taking up a missile slot, and if I have a missile boat, I, I don't... I don't really want to use a narc instead. Well, it does do damage, though. Do they have ammo for it? They do. I'll buy it. We may not use it right away, but I'll buy it. Again, we, we got plenty of money at the moment. Uh, let's check the mech market. See what they got. Another hunchback. Another hunchback. Hunchback supremacy, Chad. Hunchback supremacy. And it's another 4H. Do we just field nothing but hunchies? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a part of me that's like, Hunchback Lance? Are we gonna go Hunchback? Are we gonna go Hunchback Lance? Let's see, what do we get? So currently we have three Hunchbacks. If we get a fourth one, we'll be able to field an entire Lance of Hunchbacks. I mean, we kind of have to do it for the memes, right? Another dervish wouldn't be bad, though. A lance of dervish would be pretty good, I think. They're light- they're lighter armored than the hunchy. I think we do it. Again, hunchback supremacy. Hunchback supremacy. Um, I'm going to move the police army to cold storage. I'm also going to sell uh, all of these old bust-in Irbys. I, I briefly, I briefly considered doing an Irby Lance, but uh, I, I have since decided against it. Uh, let's head to the loadout. See what we're dealing with here. Uh, all right. How much? How much AC ten ammo? Forty rounds. All right. All right. We could ditch the small laser and add a little more armor. Give this thing just a little bit more survivability. And there's part of me that wants to put more small uh, or medium short bursts because the short burst lasers. At least from my experience when we were playing in the mission, we're really, really good. Uh, my only fear is that if they start to get destroyed, we're going to have the problem not being able to replace them. Um, but I'm not against this as just a default setup. And of course, we got to paint it as you do. There we go. Yeah, it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be Notre Dame squad. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. That actually, so here's the thing. This actually gives us three full lances of decent-ish max, which means we could take on three consecutive missions. Now, I like that this has a custom paint job, and I definitely want to play with it. However. I have to change up the color scheme. So let's see. We're dealing with FFCC. Wait, we got to make it match. Why why are you the way you are? Uh, no, 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 no.
Oh no, I messed it up. Poop. Poop! Alright. And then we'll do this. There we go. Now it's in keeping with the company standard. Ugh. Yeah, we'll go with it. Now let's have a look at the loadout and see if there's any way that we can improve this. I mean, it's already pretty good as it is. It's got Shriek SRMs. I don't think we have any other streak SRMs. Maybe we do. Nah, we have streams. We don't have any streaks. It's got a lot of space for engine heat sinks as well, although... Maybe... Let's see. I mean, maybe we take out the streaks so we can consolidate the ammo. Because this thing's already got 640 rounds of SRM ammo. But it's only using SRM4s to do it. So let's do this. And we can use the stream SRMs. Because I don't think those use a special type of ammo. <sighs> I mean, if we're going to do that... So here's my question. What, what is the practical difference between stream and regular SRMs? In terms of MechWarrior 5 game play, like... It looks like it's a higher rate of fire, same damage, same everything. It just looks like stream or higher fire rate. Is that the only difference in terms of gameplay mechanics? Shotgun versus hose. Okay. So here's what I think we do. We go for high fire rate. Um, a beagle probe is nice, but I don't really think we need it. So I think we drop the probe. I think we drop the jump jets. And in its place, let's see, is this a small? Yeah, it is a small missile slot, so we don't have the option of putting it in SRM-6. My only concern with this design... Huh. I feel like we don't have as much damage potential as we could. But I'm also not against the idea. I mean... I really want to increase the cooling now, so maybe if we're gonna use Lost Tech... We throw in some double heat sinks. Keep the cooling up, because with the, with, the, with the SRMs, we're going to be running hot. Oh, BLM, I never, I never played the original Mech Commander, but I did play Mech Commander 2, and uh, I got into some pretty goofy shit in that game, so... 
I mean, don't get the wrong idea. Like, my tendencies towards Mech Bay heresy are long, are long in the tooth. I, I have been committing acts of Mech Bay heresy for many, many years. So, um, yeah, it should come as no surprise. And RPA, yeah. A Mech, Mech Commander 2, and I've said this before. Um, I was playing tabletop battle tech since the 90s. But Mech Commander 2 was the first battle tech video game that I played. Like, I, I had been playing tabletop for a long time, and then Mech Commander 2 came out. Like... When I was younger, the Mech Warrior franchise didn't really interest me all that much because it wasn't like tabletop. And I was, you know, at the time I was kind of limited in what games I could play. And so for me, Mech, Mech Warrior didn't seem like a good fit for me. And then I played Mech Commander 2 and I was like, well, this isn't like tabletop either. But it was a lot of fun. And so because Mech Commander was so different from Tabletop, but also fun, it kind of convinced me to then say, well, maybe those Mech Warrior games are actually worth playing. And so that led me into, you know, playing the Mech Warrior games, playing the Mech Assault games on the Xbox. Um, so, you know, it, it Mech Commander 2 was kind of the gateway drug for me in terms of Battletech video games. Uh, track Tension, I don't know if the Mech Commander games have been modernized, but I know, oh, or at least at one point, I think Mech Commander 2 was considered abandonware. Um, and so you can actually get, you can actually get it for free. And it, it does... It does take a little bit of, um, it takes a little bit of effort to get it working on modern systems, but it does work. Uh, but anyway, so, um, this, this heretical trim, we're going to go ahead and, and put it together. I think we'll take it out for a test drive. I want to see how well it does. It might be a good complement to the dervish, basically field the dervish and this trim together. And, and see what kind of shenanigans we can get up to.